So as you come in, there's the front door. You go into the bathroom, so it's an okay size, what you would expect really from a bathroom. Um, and then the best bit is the shower. I love the picture on the wall. So it's like you've been by the sea, but the best bit is the rainfall shower head. I think that's what you call it. It's very powerful and it's really good. So we like the bathroom. You go down the corridor to here. I put the I should put the lights. The lights on so you can see what you came in. So you've got the double bed where Mark's sitting on just now, but you've got the double bed and so if this all lights up. You've got a huge telly, which has some British channels on it. Not that you hear really to watch the telly. And then you've got like a poofy, a seat, a desk, and of course a, a nice comfy sofa. And then you've got the balcony, which I'll go out in a minute. But also in here you've got your mini bar. So you've got your mini bar, we filled it up, but they do give you water. It's all inclusive here. The only thing they don't give you is milk, but there's always supermarkets nearby if you want to get milk. And then right where Mark is, is a double wardrobe with a bed. And then having a sneaky peek of what's out there. So here we go out onto the balcony. Or balcony, whatever you prefer. It's a nice space, got somewhere to dry clothes, a couple of seats, nice table, and the view. Look at that view. And on a clear day, you can see across to Mallorca. Yes, we are at the front of the hotel, which the hotel's car park and the reception is down there. However, we don't get the noise of the pool. There's lots of activities and that going on, so it's very peaceful. And we do like this view. So that's a little bit of a room tour. So from our hotel, we come down these stairs to this beautiful little cove. All the different bits that you can explore. Just been in for a little paddle. And now there's little fishes around you. Mark is, I don't know if you can see him, it's a bit of the sun, but he's gone into, there he is in the white top, gone into snorkel. It's that clear. And it's not actually hard to get down here from the hotel, which is up there. Ah, oh, this is the life. We have the beach to ourselves again this morning. Beautiful day. Let's go in and swim with the fishies. Here we go. Oh, it is a bit cool. But once you're in, you're fine. Mark's going to snorkel again today. It's half past eight in the morning. And it's certainly worth coming at this time. Yesterday morning we came in at half past eight and nobody was here till half nine. As you can see, Mark's quite far out and he's only up to his knees. And look, there we are. Beach to ourselves. As I say, we had it till about half nine yesterday. And a lot of people come up and sit up here on the rocks. And all the way around there's like a, a platform. And there's our hotel. I'm looking forward to going in and swimming. So 
thought I'd show you what it's like first thing in the morning. If you're an early bird like us, like to get up early on your holidays, this is the advantage of it. We are today in Sigidella, the old town, which is about five kilometres from the hotel. Just going to have a walk around, come with us, see what there is. And as you can see, Mark is also taking it on his mobile. It's a very nice town, lots of lovely buildings. So let's go around and have a look. Beautiful buildings. And as you can see, it's very busy. Gonna have, go and have a look down these wee maze of streets. <laughs> oh, this is really beautiful. It's really lovely, isn't it?
inside the cathedral. Costs six euros per adult to get in. And not only do you get entrance to the cathedral, you get entrance to the convent as well, which is just a couple of streets away. And you get a free guide leaflet for both for six euros each. Just come out of this lovely little narrow street. This beautiful church, and there's hardly anybody about. It's about half one in the afternoon. I know it's sort of siesta time for them. Some of the shops are shut, but I don't think a lot of tourists come down this way because it's just a little bit off the main streets. How are you enjoying today? It's been amazing. <laughs> he likes his to use his phone, as you can see, to take pictures of. He taking pictures of us, but it's been fantastic today. I would recommend coming here. How much Definitely. was it on the bus? One euro sixty-five. One euro sixty-five on the bus for one way. Really, really beautiful. Going down. It's lovely street and I'm right seeing the convent that comes part of the cathedral ticket. It's just here. We love the streets here. <laughs> As you can tell, we're inside the convent now. Obviously paint is falling from the upper gallery, that's why I've got the nets up. Oh god, this is beautiful. You have to come here. Here in Citadella, pay the six euros for the cathedral and the convent because 
it's worthwhile. The cathedral is beautiful, but this convent is it's, it's outstanding. We've been sitting outside on the video you would have seen before in the outside garden or the courtyard, listening to the music in the sunshine, and it's absolutely beautiful. This has been my favourite bit of today. I think Mark agrees. tonight because we're in Sigidema. Just decided to come down to the harbour to eat. Oh, it's pretty. Chose a restaurant right by the harbour. We have ordered Menorcan lamb chops and no doubt I'll put the picture up when they arrive. on my phone so I do apologise. I'll have inserted some pictures of the port that we just sat and ate at. We come here at night as well during, it's during the day, it's beautiful. Today and it's a bit cloudy and a bit rough, so we're all going down to the beach. I think the sun will come out more. Hopefully, on the last day. We 
we have had the most amazing time here in Menorca and we will be back. Definitely be back. It's great because there's all different ways you can It's our last night here and I feel quite sad to be going home but we've had the most amazing week. Thank you for watching if you've watched this far. It was just a little snippet of Menorca and Caller and Fokat and the Globales Almirante Farangu Hotel. I'll spin it around so you can see the front of the hotel at night time and I might just show you where our room is because it's <laughs> looking over at the front of the hotel. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Our wee room. This is goodbye from us and goodbye from Menorca.